What happened to Veronica Rodriguez after 90 Day, The Single Life Season 4? Hello lovely viewers, and welcome back to Vogue America new episode with Lucy. Veronica Rodriguez has stayed out of the spotlight since her split with Jamal Menzies on 90 Day, The Single Life Season 4, but fans know that Veronica does have a new boyfriend. Veronica is a single mom from Charlotte, North Carolina. She grew up in Miami where she fell in love and got married to her high school sweetheart. Veronica had found out she was pregnant at 20 years old and her parents wanted her to wed her baby daddy. Veronica moved to North Carolina with her husband, who was studying law there. However, she found out he was also cheating on her. Veronica's next serious relationship was with Tim Malcolm. She'd met him at a bar shortly after her divorce. Tim and Veronica were engaged for a while but stayed friends even after their split. He introduced Veronica as his ex-turned-best friend in 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Day Season 3 in his storyline with Jennifer Tarazona. Tim and Veronica have been constants in the franchise since. Fans have watched them in various spin-offs such as Pillow Talk. The pair have recently been the main attraction of the single life. Veronica was dating Jamal in Season 4. Veronica being a part of the 90 Day. The single life cast for season 3 was a refreshing change from the same old cast members that fans are usually tired of watching jump from one spin-off to another. Not a lot was known about Veronica's love life except for the fact that she was engaged to Tim for close to a decade and that she dated a man named Grant Glazer who she introduced on 90 Day, Barres All. Veronica didn't talk about Grant and why they broke up on the single life, she was there to look for a husband. Veronica found a good match in Justin Foster. She met the fitness enthusiast in person after months of having talked to him online. He was never married but had two kids with his baby mama. Justin wasn't fond of Tim and Veronica's close friendship. He also didn't tell Veronica he was planning to move to Florida with his kids and their mother. Veronica didn't want to relocate and broke up with him immediately. She had a surprise plan for fans when she came to the tell-all. Veronica had a new love interest, Kim Menzies' son Jamal. While Veronica was head over heels for Jamal, he, unfortunately, wanted to keep things casual. Jamal was a fan favorite until Veronica introduced him as her lover on The Single Life Season 3. After that, he was looked down upon for being a playboy. Still, Jamal agreed to get into an exclusive relationship with Veronica and the two began traveling from San Diego to Charlotte to see each other. Like Justin, Veronica and Tim's friendship was also a deal-breaker for Jamal. They were broken up when Veronica came to her season 4 tell-all. Veronica claimed Jamal had broken up with her by sending her a text message with a peace sign. She was distressed since all she was asking him was when he was coming to meet her in North Carolina. Jamal mistook Veronica's eagerness for her being pushy. He claimed Veronica wanted him to spend time with her and not look after his mom, Kim, who was under deep stress from the back-to-back -back deaths of her family members at the time. Meanwhile, Tim's ex Luisa Beltran claimed Veronica, and she were out drinking when Veronica complained about Jamal not having a job. Jamal later addressed the speculations of him dating Luisa by claiming they did not ride into any sunsets together as she was just a friend to him. He added he did not hold any ill will towards any of the cast or production people. Meanwhile, fans wondered if Veronica and Jamal got a chance to reconcile during their dinner later that night. Veronica said she did not go out with Jamal, but instead chose to spend time with her friends. However, there's no bad blood between Jamal and Veronica. They follow each other on Instagram and even like and comment on posts. Is Jasmine returning to Panama? Reasons why she should go back ASAP. 90 Day Fiance star Jasmine Pineda initially came to America just to live with Gino. She uprooted her life in Panama, which wasn't an easy decision for her. Hence, there have been uncountable instances when she doubted her decision and wondered if she made the right choice or not. Amid all this, the tables have completely turned now. Viewers believe that Jasmine shouldn't consider staying in America and should return to Panama as soon as possible. But why are fans convinced that she should leave the States? Why are they gouging for her to go back to her land? Jasmine Panama has been surrounded by controversies these days. Her relationship status still has a question mark. Several sources have accused her of cheating on Gino and getting kicked out of the latter because of it. Hence, viewers believe that the 90 Day Fiance star doesn't have a reason to live in America if she is no longer with her husband in the first place. Apparently, Jasmine never really liked Michigan. She always compared it to a frozen version of hell and bragged about how great the weather was in Panama. 
Hence, if she has already parted ways with her husband, she can easily return to her beaches and mermaid life. But that's not all. During almost every fight, Jasmine screamed at the top of her voice that she wanted to return to Panama. She was always ready to pack her bags. So, viewers believe that this is the time and that she should consider getting back to her land. Moreover, all of her family, including her sisters, mother, and sons, are in Panama. Living closer to them would add value to her life, and she would be able to move on from her failed marriage easily. But will she return? 90 Day Fiance star Jasmine Pineda is living the dream life of many foreigners who are doing everything under the sun to settle down in America. As she legally married Gino, it was easy for her to set foot on the ground even after leaving the latter. Hence, it is evident that there is no chance she is going to face any kind of immediate deportation. That could be the reason why Jasmine has started to plan her life in America. She has launched her own fitness brand and has been traveling around the states to promote it. The celeb is taking business trips, but she shows no signs of togetherness with her American husband. But there's more to the narrative. Fans recently saw Jasmine sharing posts that talked about the American dream. This made it clear that just like Natalie, Pineda also has aspirations in her eyes and is planning to try her luck in the States. Hence, viewers are convinced that she doesn't have any prospects of leaving America despite she has already left Gino. Are Angela and Michael still together? Among all the wild and unpredictable relationships in 90 Day Fian Cake history, Angela Deem and her Nigerian husband, Michael Ailesemi, have one of the most explosive and entertaining. Their journey has seen more ups and downs than an aerobics class, with a long-distance romance lasting over two years thanks to logistical and immigration issues, and even a temporary breakup. In a dramatic twist, this February, Michael went missing while the couple was featured on season 8 of the spin-off 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, which had recently shown them starting a happy new chapter. So what's the real story behind their relationship? Let's dive into Angela and Michael's current status. We first met Michael and Angela on season 2 of 90 Gay Fiancé, before the 90 Gays in 2018, after Michael sent Angela a friend request online. They quickly became a staple in both the flagship 90 Gay Fiancé series and the spin-off Happily Ever After. The couple finally tied the knot in January 2020 in Nigeria, just before the COEA Game Team pandemic hit. Angela returned to the U.S. and started the lengthy visa application process for Michael. The pandemic, financial issues, and significant immigration hurdles made Michael's journey to America a long and complex one. Despite being continents apart, the couple continued their signature earth-shaking arguments, especially when accusations of infidelity arose. In one particularly memorable argument, Angela flashed the camera, an incident that, let's be honest, makes for great TV. Despite the drama, their love or perhaps Michael's determination to get to the U.S. kept them together. By December 2021, Angela was in Las Vegas celebrating her birthday and confirmed they were still together, just waiting on Michael's visa. However, by January 2022, breakup rumors surfaced. Angela changed her Instagram from a shared account back to her own, and Michael posted cryptic messages about individuality and change. The rumor mill went into overdrive when Michael was seen hanging out with 90 Day Fiancé co-star Osman Subjaboy Umar, much to Angela's chagrin. Are Angela and Michael still together? Despite the turmoil, Angela and Michael returned for season 7 of Happily Ever After. Though Angela claimed she hadn't seen Michael in over two years, she expressed frustration over Michael's lack of communication and financial demands. She also introduced a new figure, Billy, a former stripper she had commissioned to paint something for Michael. Although Angela insisted Billy was just a crush, the situation hardly reflected a stable relationship. In a dramatic twist on October 2, 2022, Angela surprised Michael in Nigeria, leading to a screaming match that had to be broken up by friends and family. The chaos escalated in December 2022 when Angela discovered Michael chatting with another woman online. Despite the explosive drama, things seemed to settle during their time on 90 Gay, the last resort where the couple attended virtual couples therapy. They even had a recommitment ceremony with Angela tearing up the divorce papers she brought. Michael finally moved to the U.S. in December 2023, but the drama was far from over. In February 2024, Angela announced Michael was missing. After a brief panic, police found Michael, who claimed he was hiding from Angela out of fear for his life. 
Angela's initial worry quickly turned to anger and she started sharing less than flattering articles about Michael, while Michael himself posted cryptic videos suggesting he's enjoying his newfound single status. As of now, Angela and Michael haven't made any direct statements about their relationship, likely due to ongoing episodes of Happily Ever After, airing. However, their social media activity speaks volumes, hinting at a rocky, if not completely severed, relationship.